All right, hello everyone. Today we'll be playing Sao P's story in Dance Warrior 6. In the chaotic times following the Yellow Turban Rebellion, one man stood above all others. That man was Cao Cao, father of Cao Pi. After defeating Dong Zhuo, Cao Cao soon set his sights upon the imperial throne, using Xu Chang as a base from which to expand his power. However, the presence of the fearsome Lu Bu in Xia Pi was a threat to Cao Cao's ambitions. By his father's orders, Cao Pi set out to subjugate the menacing form of Lu Bu. The first steps of Wei's path to conquest were about to be taken. So yeah, <laughs> you remember when Sao Pi just, <laughs> as a toddler, went up and <laughs> beat up Lu Bu? <laughs> Honestly, this sounds like Cao Cao's trying to get his second son killed. What a tall toddler. Son, I entrust Xia Pi to you. Understood. I will put an end to Lu Bu. To be considered the greatest requires strength, wisdom, and above all, one needs the power to lead people. If the way can be shown, the one to lead may not even be needed. Father, after you show everyone the way, what will you do then? The way, the double entendre. <laughs> not a great weapon. Uh, that's that's all right. Yeah, that's not bad at all. High damage and flash, of course. Oh, elements kind of lame, but whatever. I imagine this will be just like every other choppy battle. Although, maybe we'll get to use the water attack this time. Oh, it's just the regular version, huh? It's just Sao Pi is here. <laughs> the Shao Dun there. I assume Shao Dun's still acting as commander, right? Yeah. Liking Cell P's moveset. It's fast and it has a good amount of coverage. Pretty good range, too. I like his animations too. Very fluid. I must give you a greeting befitting that of such a miserable world. This belongs to me. I remember Sao P just being a bit more of an asshole ever since Dante Warrior 6. What is that? Do you hear that sound? If mere water could stop me, do you think I'm that easy to destroy? Don't tell me a toddler at the beginning is. I'm not actually sure how old he'd be. He'd be old enough to marry around the time of Guan Du, right? 
Probably not toddler size. So the gate has opened. All units, enter the castle and crush the enemy within. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. I like how according to the map, this is whole area is supposed to be underwater. When it's just ankle deep. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Yeah, like there's the river right there. When you go into the river itself, it's waist height. Oh, and someone mentioned Salpi being Salpi's third son. That's incorrect. I remember reading that in the uh, encyclopedia before. Sal Ong is the first son, and he dies at uh, one castle. I don't know if Sao even has a third son. He probably does, but he didn't do anything. This belongs to me. And I guess we triggered an ambush on uh, Yuan Chu down there. Who showed up? Lu Qian. Oh, Dong Chao, you bitch. Or maybe not. Maybe Zhang Liao will just beat the shit out of me. Let's not try and grab right now. There we go, Rindu. There we go. All right, fix that. Ah, the frames. If you just had these troops despawn, I really didn't need to see them run away. Five minutes to go back over there and beat Yao Chan for one of those objectives. I see Yuan Chu is wearing the appropriate colors again. He's not in full Lubu fanboy mode right now. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. In Southeast Tome, it's Bali. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. He's running triangle. Grab the sword and make a shockwave. Running square. Amazing. Jump square. Jump triangle. Well. I think that's the same as his uh, Anymore, original move set. He's full triangle string. Do like how fast it is. And hold triangle. Yeah, shockwave. What? Yuan Shu, you're running away? Just what did you come for in the first place? My allies just went and killed Yuan Shu. 
Where's the Elchon? Way up there. Like, it's, it's slowing down so much because there's a bunch of enemies, like, behind the walls and stuff that it's, like, suddenly rendering in when we get close enough. Even if we don't see all of them. Rindu fast. And his last Rindu has such great coverage. Forgot how good he was. He has left his camp unguarded. I shall make him realize the folly of his arrogance. Assault the enemy main camp. I want to isolate him from the rest of his forces. And while Selfie was talking, I showed his uh R uh square and triangle grabs. Lieutenant. <laughs> See, Liu Bei just brought Chin Gong over here. To share the battlefield with me. The enemy is stronger than I anticipated. It would be rather annoying if Shahadun died right now. Selfie says that like he's not participating in the fight. <laughs> Selfie became Sephiroth. I think his alternate outfit essentially gives him Sephiroth colors. Any more officers around here, or is it just Lubu? Just Lubu, okay. I shall remember your face. Not even fit to share the battle. This is the end for you, Lubu. In the end, all your bluster was nothing more than the empty yapping of a foolish dog. The world shall bow before me. Yeah, it's weird that Lubu uh, lived through that. <laughs> they didn't kill him off. Uh, what upgrades do I want? There are a lot of big setups I could go for. Tome upgrades. Yeah, I see two big stats right here. I'm just gonna grab these. Suddenly, plus 40 defense.
<laughs> the devil horse red hair. You're quite the beast. There is no horse greater. Who has the power to tame him? <laughs> <laughs> Impossible for the common man. Selfie doesn't bad an eye. <laughs> Imagine if, like, in... Remember in Dynasty Warriors 2, when you get on a horse that's too high level and it knocks you off? Imagine if it did that instead. <laughs> sort of feels like that's what they were going for with that. Flush with confidence after his victory over Lu Bu, Cao Cao ordered the invasion of Hei Bei, which was the seat of the Imperial Dynasty. The current ruler, Yuan Shao, responded by raising a massive army and rode to meet Cao Cao at Guandu. Despite having superior numbers, Yuan Shao fell to Cao Cao's shrewd tactics. Yuan Shao's army suffered heavy losses, yet the Yuan name had deep roots within Hebei. It would take more than one defeat to destroy it. Cao Pi rode at the head of an army to finish personally what his father had started. Even after their defeat at Guandu, the Yuan family stains this land. This stain is an eyesore. Crush them without mercy. Where is our lord? Has he already departed? He surely is busy with other matters. To see a once great family fall, its name in disgrace. When he sees this, what is he feeling? A wonderful lesson for a ruler. Father, you can be sure I will lead way to glory. Oh yeah, uh, I did notice in that last cup scene with red hair, they used the PS3 version of red hair. You know, the giant version. And the PS2 version, red hair is just like normal horse size. And yeah, looks like we actually have a new stage. Let's see, the gates of D Castle main camp open within 10 minutes. Enemy forces do not enter South South main camp. Eliminate, el eh, eliminate all enemy units. Okay. Uh, the second one might be kind of hard. Oh, Yuan Shao's still alive. I guess it did bring his voice actor back for this game. They may as well have him voice in a new stage. Numbers, Yuan Shao will be easily crushed. Take down the guy and bury him underneath. Okay, I'm not going through those three gates. Must not fall. Do whatever it takes, but stop the enemy here. Why aren't there two right next to each other? It takes more than oh, that's that a waste of help. Jump on me. That's weird. You don't normally see two pots like directly beside each other. I wonder if that was an oversight. Like they just accidentally placed two there. I think one of them would be an ointment, but oh well. Oh, 
I guess South Pete's horse in the cutscene was white, so I guess the horse I'm riding is kind of appropriate. considering that red thick one do. Little do they know that my not even fit to share the battlefield with me. This belongs to me. My lord, the armies of Yuan Tan and Yuan Shang are approaching. So the sons of Yuan Shao have come to save their pathetic father. Excellent. It will save me the nuisance of my own down later. The freaking catapult hit me. Having to be blocking right then. I think that was like the one time being able to block from behind was actually useful. Show first, but like, I kind of wish I didn't jump off the with me. ledge. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Prepare yourself. My lord, now you on she has been sighted approaching with his army as well. Although he's competent, there is strength to be found in numbers. Before any more arrive. Eh, I'm already fighting you on Tan, though. Rightful heir to the Yuan legacy. The only place your family's pathetic legacy belongs is in the afterlife. You know what? Let's let's leave Yuan Chao alive. Excellent. Now the collective force of the Yuans is ready to strike. All units attack. Just see what happens when Yuan Chao lives the longest. Must not be. Leave the thinking to me and defend. <laughs> the one to succeed the Yuan family should be one of you. I will defeat you and prove my worth. Most of you love me. The only legacy you can carry is only that edge into your fate, Edso. I lost to someone like you. This is the end for you, such as. Not even fit to share the battlefield. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. This belongs to me. Ah! 
Yeah, buff that morale base. That'll come in handy. the battlefield with me amazing we will and it's kind of like extra torture for your one chow though he's going to see all of his kids die before him we're being driven back we need to try and muster up a counter attack one is beautiful <laughs> Going, she's just like, what the fuck, man? I want to see if he'll say anything now. Now then, come with me. Such incredible strength. Prepare yourself. I shall agree to join you. What? <laughs> yeah, his morale would fall after that. Not even fit to share the battle. just immediately goes to the alpha male. <laughs> I am so ashamed, but I am glad you came. Your brilliant performance makes me feel alive. Leave the pillow talk for later, Xiu Wang. Another, out, another like gate with two pots. <laughs> Why did they do that? I feel like there's some copy pasting shenanigans that happened here. Oh, you. <laughs> I don't actually need to go after Yuan Chao, he's just hounding Cao Pi. Alright, let's go take, a, take out those other guys over here. Just clear out the whole map. <laughs> Yuan Chao's just doing whatever the fuck he wants. Does Jinji switch sides and go on, dude? Not normally, no. Maybe if you play Sapi in free mode, though I doubt they would put the effort in for that. That was the it's the Wu Chao crew over here. Ow. Way too many guys over here. <laughs> Yon Chow's... Is he even taking over bases? Oh, you just I think he is. Shows objective on the unit info. Gaining control of South Post. It seems to have changed now that either South P's gone too far away or he just got too close to a base. All right, let's put him out of his misery. Is the end for 
path. The honor of the Yuans. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Hebei is ours. Prepare to move out. We return to Shu Chang in triumph. Shall bow before me. Just Jinji just leaving her husband right in front of him. <laughs> they stun their enemies when using the tome. Do ice arrows. That's good. Take a while to get up to that, though. More defense. And a bunch of attack ups over here. They're all tiny ones. Looks like I've gotten all the big attack ups already. Yeah, I guess I can get this big stat up over here, so I'll do that. He's just getting all the defense. Despite gaining considerable power with his victory at Hei Bay, Cao Cao suffered a terrible defeat at Qi Bi against the alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Wu entrenched themselves at Jiangdong, while Shu gained sovereignty over Jing. The era of the Three Kingdoms had been formed. Fresh off their victory, Shu moved to attack with Guan Yu targeting Fan Castle. If successful, they would be poised to strike at the very heart of Wei, Shu Chang. Knowing this, Cao Pi moved with all haste to reinforce the besieged castle. Fan Castle. <laughs> Man, what a time skip. Up. He just did nothing in between that time. You seem to be doing quite well. Perhaps your father feared Guan Yu and has fled for his life. Sima Yi, where my father is, is of no concern, for he has already shown us the path that leads towards our future. So now, all that's left is for us to walk down it. My lord. I'm sure we're not supposed to take anything away from that dramatic zoom in. Probably just be a regular fawn castle, I imagine. Yeah, there's me Fang and Fufi Ren. My lord, the enemy is attacking the southern gate. The counterattack will begin once our reinforcements arrive. Until then. Do not allow Guan Yu's forces to enter the castle. I guess it kind of makes sense that Cao Pi would uh, override Guan Yu's lines as commander. Uh, Cao, Cao Rin's lines. Arrangements with some of Guan Yu's to protect our side. They merely await our signal. Not even fit to see share now, CBE's version of like telling the player to do that is much more obvious than Sal Rin just saying like, "Don't betray at the right time." Make it sound like you just need to wait for the right time. But no, you just need to approach them. Wow, you are not waiting, huh? 
You're just gonna do this immediately? Okay. Well, hell, there's no way I can stop him. There's no way I can reach Fushi Ren in time. I may as well take that base down the bottom right. I do like South P taking over like the commander role. It reminds me of Dynasty Warriors 4. Look! The bank! They've cut through it! Where like in Dynasty Warriors 4, if you play as like any member of the Soon family, then that member of the Soon family will become commander. Assuming there's no like other Soon family member that's higher up on the on the totem pole. Like, if you play the non-mon stage, you soon change change. She's the commander. The waters have weakened the castle's defenses. Now is our chance to rush the castle. This is the base to take over, right? Yes. Well, oh, that was quick, Juling. A flood attack. How do I? Rendezvous with the forces in the castle and eliminate the enemy. Well, now they're dying quick. This belongs to me. Or if they made the flood attack happen, like. Almost instantly, just so you can hear Selfie's lines. Also, I like how these guys just ignored Xu Huang entirely. Went straight into the base. How fast Southpaw's swings are! I was able to hit that one officer before he was able to get off his power attack. Not every character can do that. Show them what we've got. Everybody, fight! You had to survive with just one HP, didn't you? This is the end for you. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. I got a lot more HP if I'd killed him when that volley was active, but whatever. That was great. Got my blood racing. It's giving me a warning about the ballistas being broken. That hardly matters at this point, game. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Ow. Yeah, that outpost on the left always gets taken over, like, every time I play this stage. It's pretty much what forces me to lose that one objective for not allowing any of the bases inside Pond Castle to fall. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Not 
not even a to share this battle for you, me. to share the battlefield with me. There we go. Share the battlefield with me. I do like how a square grab is just stabbing someone into the neck and then trying to get through their neck. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's not like a clean slice. It is very visceral. We shall attack the common enemy of Wei and Wu. Or would be if this game had played. That one is the key to turning the tide. Begin pursuit immediately. Hmm. It took you long enough to get here. Enough of this. All forces attack. The one who brings me Guan Yu's head will be richly rewarded. SLP definitely talks more like a super villain than Cao Cao does. Cao Cao speaks more like a hero. Like a dark hero type. One Swo got here fast. Reports from the scouts. Enemy reinforcements are headed this way. I like his triangle counter. Of course, counters are the hardest thing to show off, especially when the enemy tries to guard break you all the time. This is the end for you. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. In face, you're taking a while to show up here. I mean, like a hero of chaos. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> guess it's a more appropriate term considering who I'm talking about. I have come for your head. Amazing. We will have to display our strength as I gotta end up killing Guan Yu before Jang Peg shows up. No, there he is. Be right there, brother. Men, we must hold it back. It's do or die. He'll pop in eventually. He popped in behind me. All right, I guess you're down there now. Oh, come on. Next time will be different. I don't suppose I can Not jump back up here. Nah. With me. Wanna, you want to jump down, horse? How do I get back up? Can I clear that with the horse? Almost. Okay. There went Juron. This blade is the simple blade of the entire army. It shall never fall for me. Yes, come for your head. Prepare yourselves. I appreciate your help. There you are, Guan Yu. Fit to share the battlefield with me. 
light of Wang Jing is finally gone. The ashes of this so-called god of war shall pave my path to glory. The world shall bow before me. Quan Yu was such a tank. He was using uh, his tome, which gives him just complete hit sun resistance. Or mostly complete, I think. Maybe charge attacks can get through. Maybe. Big setup down there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Get that big setup, and I'll get this tone boosting effect. Seventy-four with flash. Uh, no, worse, just worse. As an element, but it's only fire, anyways. The title is Ambush General. It's weird for Shao Dun. So Guan Yu has been killed. We have arranged for Wu to take the brunt of Shu's anger. Hmm. Our path is clear. Do as you must. Your father is very bold. Even on death's door, he still is a great man. Wei needs a strong leader. It is time for you to assume command. It took three stages to become leader of Wei. News of the victory at Fan Castle reached Cao Cao just as he fell ill, and he died soon thereafter. His son, Cao Pi, was determined to realize the ambitions of his father. Even with Cao Cao gone, the path of Wei would proceed unabated. Amidst all this, the Wu general, Zhou Fang, suddenly offered to defect to Wei. Although suspecting a trap, Cao Pi accepted the offer and advanced on Wu. Together with the great strategist Sima Yi, he sought to move one step closer towards total conquest. It seems that no matter the path, there will always be obstacles. The world is but a wild horse. Someone must tame it. Indeed. Wu, hold up in your homes at Xiangdong, plotting to steal power from us. Your lives shall be sacrificed for the sake of Wei. Already with the sheeting jokes in the chat. <laughs> Put him in his Sephiroth outfit. I think it's the same as regular GB or uh, Chi Ting, it's just Sao P is here instead of Sao Tsao. <laughs> I like uh, what Spinner is, Spinner whatever said. Sao Tsao didn't actually die, he's just preparing to get into the sauna. He actually just went into retirement. He's fine. They cut me off! I should have seen through this trick of Zhou Fei's! The enemy leader Cao Xu has fallen for our plan. He believed Zhou Fei's surrender and entered Wan Castle. In this battle, we will crush the Wu resistance. Our first goal of business is to rescue Cao Xu. Ready now, for glory! What a disaster! I have no excuse for all of you will travel.
Just decapitated Choco. Oh, let's see his deadlock grab. Alright, yeah, that's pretty fancy. Another throat slip. SLP just has a very entertaining moveset. These arrows gonna stop? Not even fit to share the battlefield. This is the end for you. Don't be so mean. Not even fit to share the battlefield with you. This belongs to me. Ah, the frames. Sorry, but we have plans for South Shu, and you're not invited, but I'll play with you. With me here, our plan is sure to succeed. Prepare to die, South Shu. Hey, Lucian decided to spawn in. Where am I? You liar, Joe You told me you were surrendering. Prepare yourself. To share the battlefield with me. This is not how it should be going. How will they fare without my guidance? Not even pretty sizable morale drop when you defeat Lucian first. We must rouse ourselves for this fight. Neatness is movement. Excellent. Ah, quit being a bitch. I was gonna struggle to load this area. So many people here. Wow, so she was almost dead. He might still die if a spray attack hits him. You were here the whole time, Saoshu. I don't know what you were expecting. This is the end. I don't know where I'm looking. Where anything is. Ow, god thing hurts. here or not. The game just cannot handle this many people. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Saren, could you could you move your fat ass? Okay. This belongs to me. Finally the fire stopped. You are truly powerful. We must rouse ourselves for this battle. A true warrior, you will carry our honor across the land. And in my men and I will join you on this road to victory. This belongs to me. Ah, oh, come on. Our target he can make that. Enemy base. There we go. Their 
Share the battlefield with me. If you're on, keeps dying off screen. that particular lieutenant. Thank goodness they optimized this for the Switch port. Is the joke that everything gets ported to the Switch? <laughs> Is that where there's nine on the switch? I'm not even sure. It wouldn't surprise me. target for this again. Shooting for it does not fall. Well, whoops. Uh, let's see. And taking the base right in front of me. I think the watch posts are easier to take over in the PS2 version. I guess because, like, since the, the pop-in is so bad, like, the enemies can, like, spawn quicker. Oh, nine empires just on Switch. Not surprising. Fight me now. And it is like night and day playing a character that's just good and one that's not. With me. Yeah, I think they took out duels in this version of the game as well. I haven't gotten to a single duel, I don't think. I can rain down arrows too. This is it. Father. Oh, he dies. Brother, forgive me. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. 
Wu's fate has been sealed. Clean up the rest of this trash before it poisons the earth. <laughs> the disrespect. The world shall bow before me. With this battle, the ascendance of Wei is not so far off, it seems. Huh. Flattery is unusual for you. It is true that the world needs a leader, but not necessarily one from Wei. So anyone with the required ability could rule? Clearly, that would be the best choice for the land and its people. I don't know if Sim Yi stepping on South Bee's shadow has any sort of significance in Chinese or Japanese culture. But he did that. So you can get all those upgrades and then I can get this uh, Ice Arrow upgrade. That'll probably be good. Now I nullify the ice element, so that's nice, I guess. At Shi Ting, Wei nearly annihilated the Wu forces. Growing ever stronger, the balance of power shifted heavily towards Wei. Sensing imminent danger, Xu chose to strike, embarking on a northern campaign against Wei. Liu Bei was the ruler of Xu and rival to Cao Pi's father. He strove to create a new age which was in direct conflict with Cao Pi's vision. The two could not coexist, for destiny decreed that only one could stand while the other must fall. The fate of these two great men would be decided on the Wuzhang Plains. I think Liu Bei is still alive. For the restoration of Han, this battle is one we cannot afford to lose. What is that Liu Bei babbling about? There is no room for his antiquated ideals in this world today. Yeah. Let's imagine CBE was legitimately asking. He was too far away to hear. And neither for yours as well. Sure. Also, <laughs> according to that cutscene, Liu Bei is really close to the front line. Like an arrow could get him right there. Way Yan, uh, take over the bases, no one across. Yeah, same as regular Wu Jing planes, just South is here. Yeah, we haven't even seen Jin Ji again, have we? I don't think she's even been on a stage. Like he got the wife and then just forgot about her. Today will herald the end of Shu. There is no need for trickery. Crush them and salt the earth with their bones. Salt the earth with their bones. I love how there's always like something else. It's never just kill them. Do something degrading as well. We have received reports from all units. The shoe force is gaining strength. Not even fit to share the 
battlefield with me. Well, at least he didn't explode inside of a base. That could have been worse. Come on. That was a direct hit. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. You are resplendent. You've got me feeling up inside. Okay. Come on, you can do it, game. Imagine if the audio slowed down with the frames. How atrocious that would be. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. And that is the last time we'll ever see Shahoba be badass. My lord, a number of Shu units are setting traps at various bases. We have suffered heavy losses. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. The Dust Warriors characters can just eat a full turkey so quickly. Look at the Castlevania characters. And what other games are turkeys, like health pickups? And Xiao Ba went out like a bitch. I'm hoping the guy on the very right won't be able to, uh... Wait, wait a minute. Won't be able to reach way on and kill him before we can get him to defect. to set the base on fire, don't you? Not 
not even fit to share the battle with me. Ha! Ha! And for Shahadun's the only one that's doing well on the map. The one that's closest to Weyon. And press the AI new to dodge out of the way of the strong attack rather than try to block it. Notice you tend to get knocked off your horse in one hit in this game. I'm pretty sure in Vanilla Dance Warriors the PS3 version, you can take a few hits. side's doing pretty well. I think the guy up here is in charge of rock throwers. I make him annoying to fight. Rock throwers aren't as much as a threat when they can't spawn in until they're like within spitting distance of you. Kind of makes some rather pointless enemy types, honestly. Now is the time. Have the reserve troops attack the enemy main camp. Oh, we finally brought those out. Zhuge Liang is in control of this battle. I have to find a way to stop him. I must work harder to overcome it. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. This belongs to me. Okay, I gotta leave and go around to get back up on that cliff. Well, there went way on. CBE was about to say the line. I think our morale is just too high right now. You fight alone? Are you brave or a fool? Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. I don't think I need to go back and fight those officers trying to take over those bases. I think the bases will win on their own. So I think I'll lose an objective if I, any of them get taken, but eh, whatever. They're all the way up there. I 
nice if a corporal appeared. Our right, guard captain. This belongs to me. Let us be going. There is no one who can stand against the two of us fighting together. I think I'll Shadow Dune just replace South B for this fight. Like hanging out beside Jin G now. <laughs> Sugar Leon's got taken out by Dengai. <laughs> And now the guy's just leaving the main camp. He's just like, whatever, I've done enough. Not even bothering to attack Liu Bei. Ah, you bastards. Two sets of arrows! I can't move! <laughs> Prepare okay, the arrows are done. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Liu Bang, continue your vigil from the netherworld. And behold the greatness of the world that I design. Huh? Everyone, Shu is no more. The chaos has finally come to an end. Tonight, we all raise our goblets to victory. The world shall bow before me. Get more moves though, which is not great. Movement speed increase, that's also not great. I'll just take a small five point attack though. Uh, that's not a bad weapon, but I like the range on the standard. I'll replace that one. I wonder what the last stage will be about, considering, you know, Wu and Chu are dead. At the Wuzhang Plains, Wei defeated Shu and sent them to oblivion. The world now belonged to Wei. However, before the first flowers of this fragile peace could bloom, news reached Cao Pi as he was overseeing matters on the border. It was the news of rebellion. Sima Yi, Cao Pi's former advisor, had raised an army and seized Xu Chang. Showing no surprise at this betrayal, Cao Pi calmly turned his horse back towards Wei. It was almost as if he knew this day would come and had relished in its arrival. Satisfaction. Hmm. It's a little bit stiff. Is this new world that Sao Pi envisions of real? Does he have the power to forge the path there? Sao Pi. Take back the mantle if you can. <laughs> Ha 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 
What a laugh, damn. Sima Yi has turned? I don't understand. Hmm. Do as you will, you say. Father, the challenge you issued, I accept. The world is destined to be ruled by Sima Yi or myself. Watch and see. I feel like how Simi just straight up assassinated those two guards. Simi apparently put a fair amount of points in his stealth. The stealth port does not fall. Take those two random bases. And none of your units would draw. Not that any of this matters on the last stage. Me and my army of generics. Against CBE and his army of generics. If your ability matches the size of your ego, seal the main gate. So, he's closed the main gate and is trying to lure me into coming from the west. Ha, ha. I'll play along for now. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. Those are firmly shut, so are we not even gonna. Alright, fine. If I don't have to attempt to take over a base or a gate, I won't. Why do we never have a defensive Hu Chang? Probably because having two gates, just the enemy would never get past them. This would have been a good opportunity. It would have made sense for, like, essentially to play CBD's Rebellion stage, but on the defensive side. Oh well. Flashy attack and then just flattened by a boulder. Prepare yourself. This is I guess I need to pick up the pace. Sounds like I need to do as I can. It is my will to craft the future according to my own desire. Is this rebellion your way of showing you wish to be? Now's the time. Give me imbeciles a proper welcome. You know, is this the only time we see Simi Yi and Sao Pi fight each other? Like, it's teased a bunch 
in a lot of games. Maybe the only time it actually happens, if you're not counting Warrior's Urgy, where everyone fights Simi because he's just a bad guy in Warrior's Urgy 1 and 2. Yeah, we're just ignoring that front gate, huh? Even stronger than I thought. Oh, can I not? How did you guys get there? Their numbers are impressive. Time to add some fuel to the fire. The enemy is well trained. We must fight with all we've got. How did Sao Zheng get up there? Xiao Shang went out like a bitch anyways. Xiao Shang was like fighting in like the middle area. I don't even know how he got there. I don't know how my army is getting around. I think they're abusing the, uh, the terrible pop-in. Do it, frames. I believe in you. This one is heroic. I guess I how quick the enemy officers will counterattack. It's like two attack swings and then they'll start to counterattack. It doesn't give you much time to realize, okay, they're blocking this, let's use a charge attack. And all it takes is one of them counterattacking to just ruin your combo. Wow, I'm about to die. I don't think you're gonna restore shit, but. So, he had the foresight to lure the remnants of Shu here. Zhao Zhen. Get that, please. I am Machao. Oh, face me with hey, Machao was not expecting you to be here. And Wei On's here, too. Quite a number of shoe officers that showed up here.
Alright, well, that's dealt with. How many of those targets did I fail? Someone withdrew. Oh, right, there's still those two bases. Have, like two minutes to take them. Dude, you just threw a ton of officers at us, like, right at the start here. The rest of the army really isn't doing anything, though. Kinda hanging out. Still head towards CBE. No one's really doing anything. Nice. Exhaustible supply of tricks. The enemy can come all they like. My genius knows no bounds. Oh no, a guy. Hello? My oh, <laughs> didn't think he'd be right over here. Okay, here we go. I will vanquish you and the kingdom of you will be reborn. So, see me has lured out the dregs of Wu as well. Excellent. I can crush all of my enemies at once. Cover if you keep our wits about us. Yeah, I thought Wu forces were going to show up. All right, all the way back down then. Now no running on the roof, it seems. Defeating that one is the key to winning this battle. I mean, sure, if you want to come towards me, save me some time. <laughs> Woo, army got stuck in traffic. <laughs> Affected so much out of this battle. Finally, they've entered the castle. 
Everything is going as planned. Now, seize their main camp. <laughs> what? So he's shown his hand at last. Time to welcome our new guest with a fitting gift of death. <laughs> CBE orders no one to seize their main camp. I guess you will do for an opponent. Prepare yourself. I think you waited a bit too long to trigger that. I was like right in front of him. Ling Tong still gets live. Wow. Go tight. Back off. Jeez. Fight me. Oh, the reinforcements for Xiao Dun and Sao Rin. Okay. I guess it made sense they'd still be fighting for Sao Pee. They didn't bring their voice at factors back, so no extra lines for them, but whatever. But yeah, I was actively attacking Sim Yi and he didn't trigger his, uh, they've entered the castle line. I'm pretty sure they tied that straight to fighting the archer. But they spawned the archer, like, way too late. And see me, he's already way down here. Who do you leave behind up there? See Michelle. <laughs> the gods are answers. We thank you for coming to our aid. Yeah, I guess Zhao gets to live. the battlefield with me. Sima Yi, enough. You have no choice but to surrender quietly. The world shall bow before me. Capital General. I like that title. Uh, let's see, these stat upgrades don't matter. Sure, let's get the tome thing. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. I'll keep that. For when I never play this game again. So my path ends here, does it? Sima Yi, I told you before, the world that my father saw, and the one that I sought for myself, requires one of ability. Curse you, you Tsalzar. Mere fools. So he's just like, we'll just pretend this didn't happen. A true master of strategy. 
That title's much easier to get than you'd think. Yeah, this one was a little shorter than the others, just because it was easier to play Soapy. again later. I mean, likely. <laughs> I, I feel like the implication is that now CME is just gonna serve Selfie. But it is set up from where... Well, I was gonna say it was set up to where, like, the natural history could play out, but not really, because Wei and... or, uh, Wu and Shu are both dead. <laughs> they're just... they're gone. What prize did the Scarecrow win at the State Fair? Uh, a brain. Oh, you're setting up a joke. He won most outstanding in his field. That's... the Bison one was better. That was so unfunny, you're not gonna get bad. But yeah, we got one more playthrough left. We have Ling Tong left. Uh, after the last story mode, I was gonna play Empires. Just do a do a playthrough as like Yuan Shao, probably in the free mode or divided land or whatever it's called in Dust Warrior Six. Play some of the characters uh, that have move sets we haven't seen much of. Is there a lot of? <clears throat> Excuse me. There are a lot of uh, move sets for the clone characters that you can basically only see in free mode, and there's a uh, there's Ming Huo to play as well. I play Ming Huo so infrequently that I don't even remember his move set off the top of my head. I know it's like he has a palm tree and he can bring out other large objects to bash people over the head with. How old am I? Twelve. Uh, after that, though, uh, I'm not going to go to the Dynasty Warriors 7 immediately. Uh, there's still the Marvel Warriors 3. I think I'll do that next. Or maybe something else in between. I don't know. I shall avenge my maybe Summer Warriors Warriors Katana, off. just to play that again. Forward. But, anyways, that's it for the stream, so... Uh, I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow or within the next couple days just to knock out the last of the of the Muso modes. And then uh, the Empire stream, I'll probably wait until like the weekend or something. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.